Greetings, loved ones, in the strong name of Jesus. I want to give you your living word for Wednesday. Um, We're doing a two-part series uh, with regards to sin, so let's get started. One of my favorite places to go is the Pacific Crest Trail. My mom lives out in Lake Marina, and so one of my favorite things to do is to go out with some friends and my brothers and just hike all day long. There's bouldering, there's scrambling, and there's all sorts of trails. And in one particular instance, we went on a pretty um, extensive hike. It took all day. And um, I brought my backpack, I had all of my supplies, and my dog, and so we were out hiking this trail with my brother and some friends. And I I realized that my brother and my friend, they were kind of laughing the entire time, but I thought nothing of it. And I also realized that this trail was a lot harder than I remember it being. Um, And I felt like I was getting more tired and I wasn't entirely sure why until we took a break. And I opened up my backpack to get some water and I realized that my brother and my friend filled my backpack with rocks the entire time. And so while I heard them laughing, I thought I was being left out of a joke, but it turns out that there was a small opening in my backpack. So as we were going along these trails, they would just pick up rocks and while I wasn't looking, put rocks inside of my backpack. And this is a really painful and helpful reminder of sin for two reasons. Number one, sin oftentimes creeps into the secret places of our hearts. There's a small compromise that we make with regards to our convictions and what we know God has called us to do. And it provides an opportunity for sin to keep coming back and create this heavy burden. Psalm 38 verses three through four says this, there's no soundness in my flesh, because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin, for my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. And later on in this passage, it says that when I did not confess my sins, my bones ached. And so a couple of things, loved ones. First, I want to encourage you that, like I said in this earlier, or later on in this passage, it talks about the fact that when I didn't confess my sins, my bones ached. I want to encourage you that while we were physically separated, to continue to be part of those groups that provide encouragement and accountability and opportunity for confession of sin. Um, And number two, in verse four, it talks about the iniquities over your head being a heavy burden that are too heavy. Is this where you're at right now? Is there a sin or particular instance that is over, that is an overburdening you, that is heavy for you? Well, it's no surprise that later on in this passage, Jesus reminds us to come to him, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And we have even greater assurance because in verse three it says this, that there's no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. But on the cross of Christ, the wrath of God was poured out upon Jesus. So we have the opportunity to come before him with our burdens. And so my encouragement to you church is to run to Jesus, to cling to him and to look to him. Grace and peace be with you.